All right, another scrap yard find. This is, I believe, a, um, it's a Memorex, which, yeah, we all know about Memorex. And we've got um, a shorty screen here. And it's been running for a little while, and it was up a lot higher, but it's come down. Looks pretty sharp, um, a decent of a picture. You can tell the lines are wider at the top, so it's out of whack. Um, but um, it's got a Samsung picture tube in it, which is good because I can test those with my tester in here. Um, looks like it may have some hours on it sound everything works I jumped a couple of capacitors across in some places where I thought that it could be um, you know have to do with that like on this board here uh, that goes on the neck and uh, a couple down there I had I don't have a lot of high voltage lower capacitance stuff I got, well I, I kind of do I'm thinking uh, I've heard it could be some of these guys here um, so I'm gonna go in and see if I've got some of those those probably 1 kV at 0.047 or 0.033 something so we're gonna uh, do that we'll get to that later but I thought that I would um, show you um, let's look at the uh, high voltage in case you think that might be it it's not because see there it blows way up and you can hear some arcing over here I'm gonna turn it way up so I'm gonna put it back down but something is arcing when I coming from so I'm gonna crank it back down we'll see it, it would have a decent picture on it and I like these Samsung tubes so anyway that's what we got going on just to give you a, uh, let you know what we're doing here um, what's the tube it looks like it's a Oh geez, a 51Q. It doesn't matter anymore because it's not like you could get a 2BP6 or whatever like in the past. Well, for all that, you'd have to talk to either Shango or um, B. Anderson TV or Dave WM, one of those guys. Uh, so that's what we got. It looks kind of dirty. It doesn't smell smoky, but it's just somebody didn't clean their house. I don't know. That may be um, cigarette stuff. I don't know. The sound works. Uh, it fires right up. Uh, not a whole lot in here. I can really feel the high voltage buzzing, man. It, like I can feel it standing here. It's, you know. And I wonder if, it, you know, if that down there could either be a capacitor or could it be, you know, the um, the yoke. Well, I wouldn't know because I really don't want to touch that like a lot of other these other guys do when, when this is on. I mean, I know it, I've been hit by this stuff before. It's not fun. But I'm thinking, you know, with the rust on the the yoke there maybe it could need some adjustment I guess I could take some voltage readings there and see uh, it'd be more fun just to uh, maybe take it apart I don't know it looks like there's some nice chips in there crappy never heard of lender some lender con capacitors probably junk maybe I should just hose it down I've done that before all it does is go and cut out so don't know what to bypass to make it not do that but it's got a healthy flyback in it I can tell you that much and the driver for it all that stuff works great um, so what we'll do is we'll let it run for a little while and we'll do a CRT test on it I'll fire up the I was just checking the fuses in this because I had that short out on this thing and we'll um, see if it still works and test the uh, CRT out and this guy next I do have the connector for it already in place these are some other ones here but I can test Samsung's all right. 